Hi guys, thanks so much for joining me again today on my channel. Today we're going to walk through a Pulte model home in Spiritas Ranch in Little Elm, Texas. This is the Caldwell floor plan. It has five bedrooms, four bathrooms, and is just under 3,500 square feet. If you haven't met before, my name is Michelle Modesto and I've been a realtor in the North Texas area for over 10 years. All right, so now let's take a quick walk through of the Caldwell. So the first thing you have when you walk in the entryway, to your left you'll see a full bathroom, a full bedroom, and a linen closet, or actually a coat closet. Really nice walk-in shower, which is great if you have a, maybe an older relative coming to stay with you. And then to the left of the bathroom is the guest bedroom. As you can see, it's large enough for a queen size bed. And then you've got double doors for the closet. And the windows overlook the front of the house. And if you come to the hallway, again, you'll see at the end of the hallway is the coat closet. All right, now let's go take a look at the common room, common space of the house. On your left you'll have your kitchen, which is well appointed, large island. We've got stainless steel appliances in this model. This house is um, just under 3,500 square feet. And this particular model is a Caldwell and they have five bedrooms and four full bathrooms in this particular floor plan, which is really amazing. We've also got a little bit of a covered patio in the back. They've got a fireplace here in the model. And then to the right of the living room is the primary suite. Let's go take a quick look at it. So as you can see, it's well, well decorated. This house is gorgeous. It's a great way to kind of get ideas for your own home and see how they decorated this. But this is a king size bed and the back bay windows overlook the backyard. And then you can go through to the primary bathroom. Here you've got a shower and tub separate, but a lot of the builders are putting tubs in the uh, primary bathroom anymore, so kind of have to see a tub. You've got dual sinks, Got very pretty, I believe this is granite. Well, actually, I think this is actually um, quartz countertops. Plenty of drawers in the middle of each of the cabinets, or, or sorry, each of those sinks. <laughs> Lots of storage. And on the right, you have your linen closet. On the left, you have your throne room. And then straight ahead, you have a very spacious closet. So this could be for one person and the rest could be for the other. So whoever has the most clothes gets the left side of the closet. <laughs> All right, let's go back and see. There's another bedroom. Or three more bedrooms upstairs. wonder who would be that. Huh? wonder who would get the less closet space. <laughs> <laughs> My darling of you. <laughs> All right, let's go upstairs and take a look at the stairs. All right, so before we go upstairs, let's actually take a little closer look at the kitchen. I love how they have the cabinets painted black with the silver handles, very nice touch. The island is absolutely huge. Right now they've got four bar stools across the front, so you don't have a um, separate dining room in this house. They have this all in eat-in kitchen, but do have a spot for four people to actually eat comfortably at the island, and then a larger dining table set to the edge of the kitchen. So you've got a built-in microwave and an oven, both are Whirlpool. 
You've also got a five top gas stove top, which is very nice. It's also Whirlpool brand in this model. And a nice vent hood also by Whirlpool. Plenty of space to put a little coffee bar on the side if you would like to next to the refrigerator. And it's got a nice window in the kitchen that also let in more natural light in this part of the house. So across from the kitchen, you have a built-in small um, office area. This would be a great place for maybe kids to do homework, or if you work from home, this is a great place to have a work desk. Also, straight ahead over here is your laundry room. You've got nice custom cabinets above the washer and dryer and a really, really cute tile. Also, to your right is the entry from the garage. So if you come in through the garage, you enter right here. And they've got a cute hall tree built in right here with a couple of hooks and a bench and a couple of cubbies underneath the bench. So if you could put shoes, you could hang your backpacks on the hooks. Really nice place to drop your stuff right when you enter the house and not have it on the actual kitchen island. And that's kind of coming from experience. <laughs> All right, let's go take a look upstairs really quick. There's three more bedrooms, two full bathrooms, a game room, and a media room. So let's take a look upstairs. All right, so the top of the stairs, you first door on your left is a very, very nice bedroom with attached ensuite. So you come in the bedroom. Very cute space. You've got double doors for your closet. And then you also have your own private bathroom. This is great for maybe an older child. <laughs> great for an older child um, or even a guest suite upstairs. It's a tub and tile, or sorry, tub and shower combo. It's got a nice tile. This one, the tub is all the way up to the ceiling, which is very nice. But it's a nice, really nice private um, bedroom and bathroom, especially for upstairs, separate from all the other bedrooms. So let's go take a look now at the game room. All right, so now you have a very, very large game room. The windows overlook the front of the home. This would be a great place to put um, either games, video games. If we make this more of a schoolroom, if you homeschool, this is really a great playroom with a bunch of toys in it if you have uh, younger kids. A very versatile room here. And what I love as well, at the end of the game room, you have a very large closet, just for storage. You could put seasonal items in here, extra toys in here, whatever you need it to be. All right, then moving around to the other side of the upstairs. You've got another bedroom to your left. It's a very good size bedroom. This one in particular has a queen size bed. And it also has a nice walk-in closet. All right, let's go next door. We've got another closet. This one is a linen closet. A lot of closets in this place, in this house. And then your third storage closet upstairs. Nice walk-in space. You can store an extra vacuum in here, seasonal items, whatever you need it to be. And then on your right, you have a full bathroom with double sinks. And then there's a door that leads into where the toilet and tub and shower combo are. So if you have 
two people need to get ready in this bathroom, you can do that while one accesses the sink and one accesses the shower. And then here we have our, this is the third bedroom upstairs. So it's a nice, really nice size bedroom as well with a walk-in closet. This is a queen size bed, so you can kind of get an idea of how much room there is in this room. And you've also got a walk-in closet in the corner. All right, and then my favorite room of the house is the media room. You've got two steps up into the media room. Nice. You've got hand lights in here, and then you also have the sconces on the walls kind of creates that feel of a film room or a media room. And this room could also be used for whatever you'd like. There's no windows, and there's no closets in this room, so it can't be considered a bedroom, but you can use this room for whatever you'd like. Another game room, or possibly another, like a bunk room if you wanted to, but um, technically it can't be a bedroom. And then coming out of the media room, you step down, and as you can see, there is um, an open way to see the front door from upstairs. So you get a little bit of the downstairs and upstairs feeling without all the noise necessarily. So what's wonderful is the, the TV downstairs is very far away from the actual media room upstairs. So there's no battling TVs in this floor plan. Uh, really nice floor plan if you have multiple kids or you have a lot of guests with you in this home. All right, let's go back downstairs and then we'll see one more pan of the whole downstairs area. So this Caldwell is five bedrooms, four full bathrooms, and just under 3,500 square feet. This is a Pulte build in the Spiritus Ranch neighborhood in Little Elm, Texas. There is a home that they've already started, this, this floor plan, and it's being currently offered at a discount at $598.70 as of this recording. If that house isn't available, I'm sure there's something else that you would love out here. If you want information about this house or any home out in the Spiritus Ranch area in Little Elm, Texas, please see my information in the description below. Thanks a lot and I hope to see you in the next video.